All right, Shalom Israel. First and foremost, as always, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to the creators of the heaven and earth. Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, Rachaha Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return and double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai. <coughs> And this is going to be a quick video, a video going into the accuser of our brethren, okay? The slanderer, the accuser of our brethren, okay? Which basically accuse us before the Heavenly Father day and night. Okay, and that accuser, that slanderer, is also known as the devil and Satan. Okay, now Satan is not talking about the spiritual demon Satan. Okay, when you look up the word Satan, it goes back to the Hebrew word Shatan, which means adversary. Okay, and your adversary is basically your main enemy. The one that's going to give you the most problems, the most trouble, you know, that's going to cause you the most pain, the most destruction throughout your entire life. Okay. You know, and furthermore, we know that the spiritual demon, Satan himself, is not going to just physically manifest himself. Okay. He's not going to just physically manifest himself. <laughs> You know, and, 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 you know, take the form of a human because, you know, spirits can't physically put their hands on people, but they can take over people's bodies and make them do malicious, evil or harmful things. <clears throat> OK. And furthermore, in the book of Job, the first chapter, it tells you that Satan is constantly going to and fro from out of the earth. So you think he's got time to, you know, take the form of one person? You think he's got the time to take the form of, 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 of an actual person just to, you know, deceive him or cause malicious harm? No, he's going to have his minions, his demons to do his work for him, in which his demons can enter people's bodies and make him do evil, evil or malicious things. Spirits created for vengeance. OK, but um, the accuser of our brethren. <clears throat> It's talking about the devil, okay? And when you do your research on the devil, you find out that you find out that the devil is also tied to the wicked, okay? Now, when we go to Job chapter nine, verse 24, it tells you that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. When you look up the word wicked, especially at google.com it literally means evil or morally wrong in which the lord tells you to hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in all thy gates okay now in order to identify who the wicked is you have to go to malachi chapter 1 verse 4 and it, it tells you that Edom is the border of wickedness. Now, if you don't know who Edom is, go back to the book of Genesis, which when you look up the word Genesis, the word Genesis literally means the beginning. You got to go back to the beginning of, of, of when of where Esau was first mentioned at, where Esau was first born at, when Esau was was first born on this planet. It's the book of Genesis. OK. In which you can start with the book of Genesis, the 25th chapter, where it gives you a clear description of, of what Esau looks like. OK, it tells you that he was red all over in the sense that he, the reason why he came out of Rebecca as a baby red all over was because he was born with no melanin in his skin. 
Okay, so because he was born with no melanin in his skin, in which melanin is what makes your skin brown, okay, he was basically born with, uh, he was born with his blood showing forth through his skin all throughout his body. Because what color is blood? Blood is red. So, when your skin is translucent, meaning clear, then that means that you can see what's underneath the skin. In this case, we know that underneath our skin is what? White meat. Which is why, you know, these devils declare themselves as white because of the white meat that shows forth underneath their clear skin. However, whenever they get mad, right? You know how like when, when you get a graze or a deep bruise, you know, what, what happens when, when you see the white meat? Eventually you start to see blood come through that white meat as if it was a sponge, just like a sponge. When, when a sponge get wet and you press down on it, what happens? Water comes through it to, to, to the surface. So that's what your white meat is like underneath your skin. So therefore, if you apply enough pressure to the white meat, blood will literally come forth. I mean, blood will literally come forth through the white meat showing forth. So Esau was born red all over because of the blood that showed forth underneath his skin. So these so-called white people, they're not white, they're red. They're red because of the blood that showed forth through their skin. Especially when they're standing out in a hot blazing sun. You know, you know, especially when they get angry, they get embarrassed, they get smacked, they might rage. You know, their blood will start to show forth, you know, through their skin. That's the fourth rising above the white meat. So we know that according to Genesis, 36 verse 1 we know Esau is Edom so Esau is identified as the so-called white man this is also the devil and the wicked mentioned in the Bible okay now the average so-called white person they don't really have the truth they don't know what's going on they don't know that their forefather well maybe a scant few might know that their forefather go back to Esau but overall a lot of them think they're white a lot of them think they're European Caucasian a lot of them think that you know they're everything but Edomites but the top rulers who the earth was given into the hands to the wicked also the the devil you know the serpent uh, uh you know the wicked the top rulers starting with the so-called elites who call themselves Rothschilds, Rockefellers, DuPonts, Oppenheimer, Gettys, Disneys, you name it. These are the Edomites who are the top wicked who the earth was given into their hands to. And they know the truth. They know their line goes back to Esau, Edom. And they know that us so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians they know that we are the true biblical Israelites that the Bible speaks of. They know that we are the true biblical Israelites the Bible speaks of. And that's starting with the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians. Okay. So now you must ask yourself, how, how do they exactly accuse us before our power day and night? Well... How do the so-called elites accuse us before our power day and night? It starts with them, again, knowing the truth. Because you see, they understand what sin is. And if you understand what sin is, you can get the Israelites to go off to sin against the Most High. Because sin, sin is like the kryptonite of our nation. You know, whenever Superman goes near a kryptonite rock, what happens? He starts to weaken and lose his power. <laughs> okay. 
But whenever Israel would repent, which the word repent means to turn away from, right? Whenever Superman would, would turn away from that kryptonite right, rock, whenever he would get away from that kryptonite rock, which that, that kryptonite rock would, would, would uh, represent sin, right? That kryptonite rock would represent sin. So whenever, whenever we would repent, meaning turn away from sin and stop doing it, what happens? Then, then we would get our power back, which our power is who? Our power is Yahweh. Okay, that's who our power is. Our power is Yahweh. <laughs> so you can better understand. You know, you know, and they tell you, they tell you that in the book of Judith. You know, Moab, I believe, who was a retainer uh, of an army, he basically gave the the um, the leader council like, look, if Israel now here, you know, be laden with their sins. In so many words, right? He said, then now let us go forth and attack them for their power be against them. But if Israel, if Israel do not sin against their power and they be one with their power, who is Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, then let us, you know, therefore let them alone and move forward, lest their lest their power deal with us. So they know that these so-called elites, they know because the scriptures tell you, I think that's in the book of Ezekiel. They are wiser than Daniel. Okay. These Edomites are there. They're wiser than Daniel. So in a sense, they're wiser than Daniel because they research everything. Okay. It tells you that um, the heart and the mind of every one of them is deep deep you know they're digging they're researching the scriptures tell you they search out iniquities how how, how do you search out iniquities you find out what sin is <clears throat> so these so-called elites they know that if they can get our people to sin then our power will continually be against us because imagine if this was a righteous society the lord would be dealing with us because uh, all, 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 all the moles would be put to death, all of the adulterous and the adulterers would be put to death. They will all be put to death. Okay, all the transformers will be put to death. You know, all the pedophiles, everybody who commits bestiality will be put to death. Women would not be wearing pants. Women will have their heads covered. They'd be wearing dresses. Men will be in order. You know, we'd be keeping the high holy days. You know. So if this was a righteous society, then what? Yahweh Shai would have probably came back a long time ago. You see? But guess what? This is not a righteous society, now is it? This is a, this is a society that is built around rebellion and iniquity. Everywhere you look, what do you see? You see sin, okay? What is that over there? Hold on, let me see if I can zoom in on that. What is that right there? A smoke shop. Now, you know, smoking is a sin, right? But here it is. They got bongs. They got uh, hookahs. They got cigarettes, cigars. Those are all sins according to the scriptures. Okay. And how do we know it's sin? Because in our first Corinthians, the third chapter in the 16th verse, it tells you that if any man defile the temple, him shall the Lord destroy. How do you defile your temple? By putting things in your body that don't belong there. Excuse me, I gotta cross the street here. Okay. So eating pork is an example of putting things in your body that don't belong there. Okay, how we know that? Leviticus, the 11th chapter, tells you that uh, 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 the pig is unclean, <laughs> okay? Shrimp, lobster, crab, those are unclean uh, creatures. You're not supposed to eat them. Look at that. Look, what is that? <laughs> what is that? You see? And you see, they purposely put these things in our neighborhoods because they know that our people is going to indulge in those things. 
okay? They make it to where, well, let me zoom out. Okay, they make it to where, no, excuse me, it's kind of bright. They make it to where a man can lie down with another man's wife and literally get away with it. They make it to where your woman can sleep around on you. What do you see in your markets when you go to the grocery store? You see clam chowder. You see candy clam. You see sardines that might have crustaceans in it. If you don't know what crustaceans is, if you don't know what crustaceans is, crustaceans is basically a sea creatures with 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 uh with, with an exoskeleton on, on, on the outside of his body. So the outside of his body is hard. It's like crabs, lobsters, shrimp, okay, clams, oysters, okay. You go to a seafood restaurant, what do you see? You see catfish, <laughs> okay? You know? And technically, eating GMO food is a sin because it's not even real food. You know, we're supposed to be eating real food. If you're gonna breathe anything, it's supposed to be like incense. Um, you know, there, there are certain oils you know that there's certain oils you could burn. It will literally purify the air. You know, it will it will help your mind by helping brain cells to grow. There is a such thing as a natural high. But nah, you know, Esau wants Jake to get high in, in, in all the wrong ways possible. You know, why do you think he's legalizing weed? You know, now you can go to corner shops nowadays and literally get weed for free. <clears throat> and there's no telling what Esau put in the weed. But the fact of the matter is, is that you're not supposed to smoke it. Weed is a herb. You're supposed to eat it. You know, act as a uh, a um a, a pain reliever. But you're not supposed to smoke it. Tobacco, you know, smoking, all that shit goes back to Egypt. You're not supposed to do that, man. So you see, the accuser of our brethren, who is the wicked, the devil, and Satan, right? They put all these things out here, which are sin and iniquity for our people to indulge into. So basically, they can go behind our backs, right? As a nation of people, they can go behind our backs and basically accuse us to the Heavenly Father. And this is what they do day and night. Look what your people is doing. You know, that person is smoking crack. That person right there is doing heroin. That person right there is snoring coke. No, that man just lied down with that man's wife. That man's wife just committed adultery. You know, are, are you sure they should have the birthright? Because that's what it all boils down to. It all boils down to these so-called elites trying to get the birthright back. And that's what accusing us is all about. It's all about them trying to get the birthright back and basically the Lord putting us off as a nation of people. Because if Esau, Edom got the birthright and, and the blessings back, right? Then, then he could basically just stay in power forever. Do all his dirt, all his wickedness and shit. And you know? But the Mosai is not going to allow that to happen. Because uh, the scriptures tell you, the Lord is a righteous power. Okay? That's a cute dog right there. You see, the, the Lord is a righteous power. So, you know, he ain't going to just let the wicked just sit in, sit in power. And just, you know, to do, do whatever they want. And, and no. You know? The Lord delights in his people, the righteous Israelites. The Israelites, which, you know, by default, the Lord created us to be a righteous people. You know? The Lord never created us to, you know, do sin, sin and wickedness. But now, nah, you see, Esau put all this shit out here so our people can indulge in it. That way, you know, for as long as our people sin, what, we can stay on the bottom, you know, stay losing, 
<laughs> you know, and th th this is what Esau wants. He wants to see our people just stay on the bottle, lose, mad, confused, hurt, you know. Nigga don't lost this woman. He's ready to commit suicide. He's ready to commit murder, you know. He's ready to smoke a Lucy, you know. At these barber shops, what, what 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 do they allow these barber shops? Edge ups, line ups. In the book of Leviticus, the nineteenth chapter, it tells you that you're not supposed to to mar the corners of your ears, that the mar the corner of your heads, nor the corner of your beards. You know, Esau will give you a razor and some shaving cream so a nigga can, can can shave off all the hair on his face and have a smooth face, looking like a a face smoother than the back of a baby's ass. It's stupid, man. So. The time is because the a hey, it tells you in um Ecclesiastes it tells you in Ecclesiastes what is that the um the twenty third chapter it, it tells you that the eyes of the Lord which are the angels by the way are ten thousand times brighter than the sun. Now we all know how bright the sun is. You look into the sun and, and you you'll go blind if you stare stare. You'll go blind temporarily if you stare into the sun for more than uh, 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 15 seconds. At least for me, it's 15 seconds because I used to look directly into the sun. Okay. You know, so imagine 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Beholding all the ways of men and considering their most secret parts. See, the Lord knows that these devils have purposely put all this shit out here for our, our people to in, uh, indulge into. You know, because see, Esau, he'll put lamb out there because, you know, lamb is lawful to eat. But he'll also put some pork chops out there and, and, and make the pork chops, you know, five times cheaper than the lamb. You know, a lamb chop will be like twelve, fourteen dollars. But but a, a pack of pork chops will be like three dollars. You know, you see, and this is all the work of the wicked. You know, Esau, he'll, he'll put vape, vapors out there. <laughs> OK. No, and now now these corner shops are selling Lucy's. Okay? You could buy a Lucy for what, like 50 cents? You know? We all know niggas got 50 cents, bro. Every nigga got 50 cents to buy a Lucy. You know? Some niggas buy a black and mouse. Okay? <laughs> But you see, Esau did that shit on purpose to keep our people indulging in sin, in which sin is with the most high, the sin and the sinner is with the most high hate. Okay, like it tells you in Sirach, uh the 12th and 6th chapter, okay? Uh, 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 the most high hate of sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keep of them against what? Against the day of their punishment. So yeah, our people is going to be punished for committing sin and iniquity. But but guess who has the greater sin? The one who put all these things out here, all, all this wickedness out here for our people to, to indulge into. You know, they set up clubs. The whole purpose of clubs is for women who have men to go out and basically have sex with another man, which is going off. You know, and then they give women authority and power so that you have no say so over your woman. And then and then if you get angry at your woman, you lose your patience with your woman, you put your hands on your woman. If she called the police, you going to jail. No, you you going to jail now. OK, you going right to jail. For for performing a righteous act, you perform a righteous act in this society is designed to punish you for doing the right thing. You know, you put a moat to death. You get throw, thrown under the jail. You get, you put a transformer to death. You, you, you you're, you're pretty much going to be spending life in prison. <laughs> okay, you put a adulterer and adulteress to death. 
You know, Esau charged you with, with two counts of, of murder and, and a battery assault. You getting thrown under the prison, you see? And that's why we are rehearsing the righteous acts by keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, which we can keep to the best of our ability. Until what? Like it tells you in 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter, until he uh, uh, be taken out of the way. Because for uh, as long as the wicked stays in power, our people is going to keep indulging in wickedness just like what just like how they was doing in the book of first Ma first maccabees the first chapter okay they basically said you know uh let, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that we may do you know what they do in other words keep their customs round about us you know that device which a device is a plan or a scheme basically uh, pleased them well so like it tells you in Jeremiah, the fourth chapter, they are wise to do evil, meaning what they are. People enjoy doing wickedness. So they're going to be judged on their wicked actions. But the, the one who allowed all the all this, all this wicked shit to happen, the, the, they're going to get the greater punishment. So the so-called elites who call themselves Rothschilds, Rockefellers, all these uh, super elite families who rule the world in wickedness who's basically accusing us before the father day and night telling on our people to the most high you know about the wickedness and the sin that they're doing right guess what the accuser is about to be put down the accuser is about to be destroyed and according to psalms chapter 149 the 149th chapter, the accuser is going right into captivity. Okay? The accuser is going right into slavery. Along with the super rich and the top rulers across the entire globe. Okay? Because the so-called elites, they must think the Heavenly Father is some kind of idiot or something. As if they're going to sneak pork and candy and then be like, see, look, that, that nigga right there is eating Skittles. But the most high is like, come on now, bro. I saw you put the, the pork in the Skittles. Who the fuck you think you trying to fool? So most high is going to get these devils, man. The accuser of our brethren is about to be put down, Akim. So stay strong. We're almost out of this uh, damn captivity. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom is on to the next one.